We are so glad you're joining us in the Real Life Kitchen. Today we have something special we're up to. What is it, Arlene? Well, we want to say Happy Mother's Day Yay. to all the moms out there, <laughs> all the potential moms out there. That's right. We're so happy that mm -hmm. you joined us. We're going to give you some ideas on how you can celebrate your mom for that special day. And this is a very simple, easy, delicious, full dinner that takes very little time because it bakes in the oven. Like you can fix it, put it in the oven, forget about it for three hours, come home and you have it done. Sounds really good okay. to me. So my kids are gonna have to watch. Yeah, take notes, kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, it's gonna be a roast beef dinner with potatoes, carrots, and mushrooms around it in an odd juice mm -hmm. sauce. And I'm gonna show you that, but I'm gonna get her started on the salad because this is an awesome, wonderful, that's called the best Sunday salad. Okay. And what she has here already, we have chopped up some apples. We have an apple chopped up. We have some pineapple. pineapple chunks. Now we have drained that and kept the juice from the pineapple because we put our bananas in there and that's gonna keep them from turning brown. That is a very Isn't that a good idea? Secret. Absolutely. Yes. And then what else is in there? Peaches a, from peach pie. A can of peach pie filling mm. because what that's gonna do is just give some gloss to it and hold all the wonderful uh, fruits together. So. We're gonna drain these and put them in. Okay. Okay, and you can start showing the other berries that we're gonna add to this. All right, well, we've got our blueberries, our raspberries, blackberries, and we're gonna fold that all together. And then on top, we're gonna do our strawberries and kiwi for a good presentation. Absolutely, but we're not gonna put it in this dish that we mix it in because no, we're that's going not gonna use be. You know, we have these serving beautiful. things. This is the time to get them out. It's Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you're gonna, I'm gonna, work on my um, roast beef here All while right, you're doing that, good. okay? You're just gonna stir them and fold them in. You don't wanna mm -hmm. stir hard because you don't wanna break down the, the okay. fruits, okay? All right, mine is this roast beef with wonderful vegetables. Let me show you the vegetables. These have been cooking in the oven for a good long time, good two, three hours. And look at that. Is that beautiful? Oh, it smells there's delicious. There's carrots, there's carrots, there's onion, there's potato and there's um, mushrooms. And you know, when you cook them in a juice, like a beef flavor, that just adds so much flavor to the vegetables. But what we started with, I'll get back to that in a minute, what we started with was a roast beef. And this was a, a rump roast. And I, we browned that, floured it, salt and pepper, browned it in a skillet. And then we took that and put it in our pan. We put it in a Dutch oven, sliced onion over, put just a little bit of broth in it. Put your oven on 325. Now this takes three, you could do this before you went to church and when you come home, you have it done. Okay, so you just let that cook nice and low and slow. These you wanna put in about an hour because these need to cook a good hour. You can make your carrots smaller. You can make your potato chunks smaller, cut your mushrooms smaller if you have less time for it to roast. But you wanna roast that around that beef and what I've done, because if you're going to have a crowd there, you want to you want to make sure that everybody gets a piece. And I just like to take my roast beef after it's cooked. You can see here there's still some of the bits of the onion on there, and then I take the juice from the bottom and I just pour it over. And you can do this ahead of time and cover it up. Put it back in a low oven, and that just keeps it nice and warm while you finish your potatoes and your carrots. If these are in with your meat and they don't get done quite quick enough, then you can put them in a skillet, put them on top of the stove with the broth and let them cook and they'll get done quicker. But I'm telling you, this is one of the, our favorites, it was my dad's favorite. I developed this when we used to go to the beach and we'd want a, a good meal when we come home but nobody wants to stay at the beach cooking. So I'd put this in the oven, we'd go to the beach, come home, open that condo door, oh my goodness. All you can smell is roast mm -hmm. beef, potatoes, <laughs> carrots, oh, delicious. Put a little salad with it. We're putting a fruit salad with ours and you can put, um, you can have a toss salad, little roll. i am tell you, that's just a quick and easy way to do something special for mom. And I hope you're doing that. Do you have a favorite story about your mom? I do, I was thinking about this and my mom could do hair. So I can remember my mom giving me my first perm. Oh. <laughs> I remember mine too, but it was a I horror was just, show. 
Go and ahead. she would just, um, she was good with hair, I guess. I wasn't so good with hair. And so when she would take the time to help me do my hair, that, that is a That's memory a, yeah. that goes oh, yeah. with me Absolutely. wherever I go. I love you, Mom. <laughs> you know, one of my fondest memories Saturday morning was um, family altar at our house. Mom make a big breakfast, and my two mm -hmm. brothers and my mom and dad and me would go in the living room. We didn't even clean up the dishes. Immediately after breakfast, go in the living room, and dad would choose where we were going to be reading from. My brothers would get their Bibles, and I was little. I was only three, and I wasn't, didn't know how to read. Yeah. But I can remember as we went around the circle when it came to me, I would cry because I couldn't read. Oh. And I remember my mom, I can still feel her arm around me, pull yeah. me to her. And she would whisper in my ear the words of the scripture. And then I would repeat them like I was reading. You know what? She started at a young age to instill the word of God into my heart, mm -hmm. into my life. And I've never forgotten it. I've never got away from the word. Because when you start young in training up that child in the way he should go, he will never depart from it. You can't right. get away from the word. That's it's alive. Right. So those good memories, mom, if you're taking that time and investing it in your kids, right. you are doing the best thing you can for them. You're cooking every day. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's hard, but you're still cooking. You're doing that. Right. You're doing the best thing you can. Amen. Do you know that God loves mothers who take care of their children? And if you are, if you sacrificed, mm -hmm. maybe you're in a single home, single parent home with three children, God bless you. And he said he would be your husband. He'll take care of your kids. He'll be a father to your children. That's right. So just be encouraged today. The Lord is aware and he's always as close as the mention of his That's name. That's right. And like for yourself, I think it's important for us to remember if you don't have a mom, that you can be that to someone else or Absolutely. allow God to bring Absolutely. someone into your life. Have spiritual moms. I, I know I do too. I do too. I mean, <laughs> my mom's gone 20 some years and you know, Miss Norma is like a spiritual mom to me. She's my mentor, mm -hmm. but she is because she's such a godly example mm -hmm. of what a mom is. And we're th so thankful and we're thankful for you. And we hope that uh, you're gonna enjoy what we prepared, give you some ideas. When we come back, we're gonna have our taste test. And of course that tells it all, doesn't That's it? That's right. But we'll be back in just a minute. And don't you go away. We'll be right back. Wow, this looks like That's Sunday beautiful. dinner. This is Mother's Day. Oh, this is okay. Mother's Day. Oh. My Come children, take oh, note Come here. here. Everybody <laughs> mother's here. Mother, okay. mother needs to be right here. Every day is Mother's Day. Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, this is beautiful. wonderful. It's, there's a, there's a, it's called Sunday's Best Fruit Salad. Okay. And that's all kind of good stuff in there you can yes, see. I love and the then fruit. we have a roast beef with in the uh, juice. And there's potatoes and carrots and mushrooms. We did a little mm -hmm. coleslaw. We have a card for mom. You know, give her some flowers that's and give her a card. Right. Give her a little pack of candy that. or something. Mm -hmm. Do something special because she, remember, she brought you into the world. That's right. So that's something to be celebrated, right? <laughs> right. That's yeah. right. Just to remember her. That's what Absolutely. you want. Absolutely. You know, just to and you call. know, a little thing with mamas goes a long way, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Sure does. It goes a long, long mm -hmm. way because, you know, any time that you, you show uh, special attention to her, right. and, and you know, your mom will always tell you the truth if you really want to hear it. That, oh, that's it, if you if really want to hear it. Hear. Exactly right. Then you have some moms that tell you the truth if you don't, don't want to hear it. Even if you don't want to hear it. That's right. Yeah, but you know what? The truth all, it should always win out, and it should be the best for you. So, you know, give here, you know, moms have gone down the road, and dads too, but moms have gone down the road, and they know a little more than what we know, okay? Correct. So listen to their, their counsel, especially if they're godly women that have taught you in the ways of God. Just listen to them because it's really important. And they have your best will and your best heart in their heart. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Well, I can't wait to taste some of that roast beef. It looks fantastic. It smells yes. good it smells in here, good. doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> Kristen, yeah. is this part of the uh, this building strength? Most, yeah, it looks like most. Maybe not the chocolate so much, but <laughs> <laughs> everything else looks that's good. That's not for everybody. That's, <laughs> that's only for no, mom. That's for mom. <laughs> well, thank you for being with us on the program, Kristen. It was very oh, good yeah. to have thank you here. You. And right. thank you, Mom, for yeah. coming and being with yeah. us. I'm so looking, glad. Yeah. Looking, yeah. Yeah. looking that's forward right. to our time. Okay. Arlene, this looks fantastic. Yes, it should. Well, right. What are we going to do? How are we going to get into it? Are those the taste plates? Ladies first. Ladies first. Here the we mother go. first. Mother first. Mother first. <laughs> okay, I'm Here. not a mama. You want to so. try it? Okay. Dawn, you have to pass because you're not a mama. I'm not a mom. Okay. And I help make it, so okay. I'm, I'm going to watch your expression. I love yeah, yeah. Watching the expression. Wow. That's right. Is the it good? The potato is mm. awesome. Isn't that really good? Now, be careful with the meat because it might be hot. 
Happy Mother's Day. Yes. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Mom. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Grandma, Day. Grandma Pearl. Happy watch our, Mother's watch Day. Watch our Woman of Valor program <laughs> on Mother's Day. It's a fantastic program. <laughs> you want this beef, don't you? I'm coming after that as soon as we go off the air. <laughs> All courtesies have ended in just a few seconds. I'm Arlene, you. you did a great job putting yeah, all you. the pieces and, together. And, you know, I never get to talk about the helpers in the kitchen, but they're the best. Oh, yeah. They're the best. Yeah. We have a wonderful crew, and they're all behind everything. We try to make it the best, mm. not just for you, but we want to do it for the kingdom of God. Because he deserves Amen. the very best that we can do. Well, we're, we're glad you're with us, too. Yeah. We're so thankful for you. We're thankful for that peace of God yeah. which rests upon you today in Jesus', Jesus name. name. We'll see you again on Real Life. Let's close with Dave Bell and the moment where I belong.